Choosing Farron to move our boat was clearly the right decision when this conundrum arose and he knew of a trailer that would work that he could pick up within a few hours. We need uh, another rubber because I couldn't get that one out. Oh. We're under there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That wind is terrible. Like, it's terrible. What? We're gonna need him. What's wrong with it? Crooked. Oh. We're on either side of the engine. I think we're gonna have so much wind, we wanna be on the truck ready in place, kinda get ready to go. As soon as it's up there, I don't know what we wanna do to anchor it to. Yeah. Uh, that's my guess. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> I think so. You get the chains off? Just the left, yeah, left it in southern. No, it shouldn't have to move much. <laughs> this side. This side right here. All my batteries are dead. There's the grinder. Is that your battery? Yep, right there. I think so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's a monkey. Yeah, I just want something to push with. Talk to me under it. <laughs> You're gonna walk her all the way on? Yeah. You guys can go back if you want. I don't know what the front looks like.
I just don't want any blocks under the stainless. Uh, towards you if you... Got lots of room in the front? Where do you want it for weight-wise? Where do you want it for weight? You... No, I know. Towards him, yeah. Pretty much. This end is going to be right where the sun is out of here. Okay, I'll get up to the front and I'll do the front, okay? He took off 5,000. So you're, he's, he's still carrying 30. Okay. Okay. I'm going to need that hot tub tonight. <laughs> Try to keep them flush. Yeah. <laughs> put a board on. Can you put a board on? Can you put a board on? I just took the corner off here or something. This is, this is a better battery. to those because if I go up on above that I'm going over top of just wooden handrails no because this this railing's done I don't even have a problem going like that yeah, yeah. And once we strap it down, we can disconnect the crane and get the, the, the mast up. Yeah. She's windy up here. Yeah, you're pulling me over a bit. I can feel the boat pulling down, so. Yeah, you're tight. He's having fun. You're having fun. Check the mail, yeah? Yeah, yeah you're not going to see it. Just reach from there. Yeah. Just right on top. Yeah, I got a couple of tires. We're just going to send it on top of the tires, strap it down. Yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling her. He's tight. We might as well drop all the weight off, right? Yeah. Yeah, she didn't even move. The boat didn't move. You're good. The boat didn't move. I 
think so. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna need those tires, I guess. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna need a cab right now. Bob's my uncle. My brother. Bob's my brother. Yeah. Um, I think they showed up about 1.30 or so. No, it's not bad, but it's... No, it's just, yeah. Stressful. We'll get her all tied up and figured it out and strapped her down and we're gonna throw the mast up there. And we had to deal with like, like hurricane. I can't believe this. I don't even. Can you leave the trailer and truck? Is that okay? Okay. After an extra day, a failed lift, and a new to Farron trailer, the guys could finally start the two and a half day journey to bring the boat home. So Colin and Murray are bringing back the boat and today has been one of those days. Um, it started off with it being like minus 42 with the wind chill. I think it was minus 32 before the wind chill. Um, at least I had plugged my truck in. And then <laughs> uh, right as I was getting off work, I walked into my bathroom and the um, cartridge for my Moen shower tap decided that it was going to spontaneously fail. And I ended up with my shower turning itself on pretty much full blast um, and not being able to turn it off. So I had to turn the water off to the entire house, got the cartridge out, took it to Home Depot, got a new cartridge. And then I came back and found out that not only was that not working, but certain toilets in the house weren't working. And then that eventually led to all the toilets in the house not working. And then the cold water at the kitchen sink not working because you guessed it, the line froze. <laughs> so anyways, after I got the kids to bed, I took the hair dryer and I went downstairs to where I knew there was a little bit of a draft and I thought out the line. I could hear the ice. Uh, I literally heard it like ping um, as it let go. And then um, I just stuffed some rags in there for now. I'll get some spray foam and fix it properly later. But yeah, there's always something that goes wrong when um, Murray's out of town never fails and it usually relates to water. Here she comes. Home at last, home at last.
There she is. Made it all the way back and she looks a lot bigger than I remember her. <laughs> hey. What do you think, Eve? Is that a big boat? Yeah. It's going to pull out and we'll drop it out. With the boat safely perched, it was time to show the girls their future home on the water. <laughs> That one's your bedroom, and that one's yours, Pearl. Which one's 
Which? Eve wants that one. Okay, he wants starboard. Pearl, Pearl gets port. Pearls for port. Yeah. Like many other people, we hadn't been away on our annual winter vacation since 2020. And with winters as frigid as ours, it was time to thaw our frozen spirits with a trip to sunny Puerto Plata, Dominican Republic. Where are we going? Yeah. <laughs> Where are we going first? The walk dogs! That's right! On we go. Everybody on. Okay, Pearl, you gotta move over behind my mom because I've got to put this wagon in here. Come on in, Pearl. Over here, please. Over by mom. Come to mom. Hey, in. Yep, we're in. Yeah. How'd you suffer? Late. How's your supper? <laughs> you sing it louder? <laughs> A bit of jealousy there? Eve. Okay, come on. We visited Pink Street where we saw monkeys and beautiful parrots, statues. We were there just before the daily flood of tourists arrived. We checked out Umbrella Street, which was kind of neat, the town square of Porta Plata just prior to their Independence Day celebration, and of course, every visit to Porta Plata isn't complete without a visit to Fortaleza de San Felipe, or the Fort San Felipe. The kids got a real kick out of the cannons. Throughout our 10 day trip, Eve and I shared many coffee dates, walked on the beach and collected seashells. Even Sunscape, the resort we stayed at, held a grand celebration for Independence Day, complete with a marching band and vibrant costumes. <laughs> Is that good luck? <laughs> oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> Coincidentally, Uncle Bob's birthday was the same day as Independence Day, so we let him think that the big fuss was all for him. Happy birthday, Bob and Tom. Happy, Happy birthday to you. We have to help. <laughs> Get in there, Pearl. Cherry on top? You were after the cherry on top? <laughs> that is specifically reserved for the birthday boy. That's right. It's a big bite. It's not doing a big bite. Maybe you should feed it to him, Pearl. 
<laughs> yeah, bro's like, that sounds like a plan, dad. <laughs> Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Oh, that's, I swear to God, this, this whole vacation just became more than more fit. Do you like the ocean? Yeah. It's pretty, eh? Yeah. Yeah. We took a day trip to Sasua and went snorkeling from a catamaran. I was a bit disappointed though because it was a power cat and not a sailing cat. Between the diesel exhaust and the swell, that made for several seasick passengers. I'm not sure the camera was able to do justice to just how rolly it was on the water that day. The day our family and friends boarded the bus, we knew our trip to Dominican was nearly over. We made so many memories in such a short time, and we will never forget that trip. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> See you, I miss you once again. I miss you, I miss you. I miss you once again. I miss you, I miss you, I miss you once I miss you, I miss you. I miss you, I miss you. I miss you once again. I miss you, I miss you. I miss you once again. I miss you, I miss you. I miss you once That night, as the girls fell asleep from exhaustion, we packed up our things to be ready for our flights home the next day. The following morning, I woke up to this email from WestJet. Our flight was cancelled. Stuck in paradise? Doesn't sound too bad. Join us next week to find out how wrong I was. Next up on Guinness on the Go, after some unplanned extra time in paradise, we land in Toronto and make the most of a crummy situation. And we face the realities of how much work is ahead of us. I don't really know how we're going to manage to get this done. It's going to be a uh trick and a half so if anybody has any ideas please I would love to hear them